I'm Cindy, and this is Shell. We sold everything and set off on an adventure, living and cruising on a boat named Seashell. Click subscribe and sit back as we show you that it's possible for all of us to live an extraordinary life. In the last episode, we spent a lot of playtime in our most southerly anchorage this season, off of Lee Stocking Island in the Exumas. Now it is time to start heading home. So we point the bow north and take the shallow draft route on the western side of the Exuma chain from Lee Stocking to Musha Key. We want to give a huge thanks to our patrons who help keep these videos coming. The winds are blowing from the west for a couple of days, which can be a pain when anchoring in the Exumas. Westerly protection is a little sparse in some areas, so we tuck up to Lansing Key, just west of Musha, as far as we can, to get a little protection. Musha today and we are gonna go take a quick break from work and check out the sand flats maybe a plane and just get a little refreshing swim before we get back to work When the west wind turned, we headed towards Black Point to do some much needed laundry. I, of course, became enamored with the abundant amount of stray cats. There seems to be way more than we remember here. Shell, of course, became enamored with Lorraine's Pizza. Shell has gone to get us our pizza tonight from Lorraine's. Delivery color. Yeah. Pizza delivery is great. Lorraine's has a new building now built out over the water, and there is also a new restaurant right next door. So the food options are certainly growing here in Black Point. After some spectacular sunsets dipping into the ocean as we are anchored here, we end up just a little north in Staniel Key.
We are now into the month of May, and the weather is starting to turn. Thunderstorms are becoming much more frequent and violent. The weather forecast is also calling for more sustained west winds. Like we said, protection from westerlies can be difficult to find. This adds a little complication to our hop north, as we will need to be careful where we stop. There are only a few places you can hang out for extended periods of time in a west wind. We decide to go to Cambridge Quay in the Land and Sea Park. Cambridge Key today. We've been here for a few days waiting out some winds, weather, west wind. Really good. Really and good in the west wind. Really, really good in the west wind. And it's been busy. Lots of mega yachts and charters and yeah, everybody is here. To our surprise, the wind continues from the west, even after about five days at Cambridge Key. The only other well-protected anchorage north of us is Wardrick Wells, in the middle of the Land and Sea Park. We head there for a change of scenery as the winds continue. I don't love catching mooring balls. Current and wind, I don't know. It's nothing. As soon as we tie off the mooring ball, we feel the serene embrace of Wardrick Wells. You can taste the salty tang in the breeze, carrying whispers of adventure and tranquility alike. Then, as if on cue, the gentle sea turtles begin to make their appearance. It's as though they've come to welcome us to their underwater realm, inviting us to share in the magic of this pristine marine sanctuary. Of course we accept their invitation.
as we reluctantly depart the captivating beauty of the Exumas. A picturesque, flat, calm day welcomes our journey across the Yellow Bank. The sea's glass-like surface allows us a rare glimpse into its depths as we peer over the bow. Beneath us lies a mesmerizing world of coral heads and vibrant fish. A silent farewell that etches itself into our memories as we bid adieu to this paradise. We are taking a quick break, quick swim from our cruise this morning to check out a coral head and to get a refreshing dip on this super calm day. Yeah, we're on the yellow bank between the Exumas and Nassau. We're headed to Nassau. Yep. And we're just gonna go for a little spearfish. See if we can get dinner for tonight. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful today. There were no dinner-sized fish to spare, and the lobster were out of season. So I guess we'll be eating out tonight. It was, however, a refreshing way to break up our crossing to Nassau. We always enjoy a stop at Nassau Harbor Club in Nassau. The staff are always welcoming. It's right across the street from Solomon's, which is a great grocery store. As we wade on crossing the tongue of the ocean, we anchor off Junkanoo Beach. As you can see, it doesn't have great holding. It's about three to six inches of sand over rock, but works well in settled conditions. It does, however, provide easy access to downtown to enjoy some good food. As we head back over the tongue of the ocean and on to Gung Key, just south of Bimini, we think back on what a wonderful season this has been. We spent a lot of the time in some very beautiful anchorages, some of which were new to us. The boat had little to no issues this season. Stay tuned as we hope to continue this streak into the 2024 season. We are just south of Bimini today, and this is our one of our last excursions I think before we cross back to Florida. It's been an amazing season um, and here right now everybody's enjoying life. Busy busy. Yeah, yeah.